Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to separate words and numbers in a cell in Excel using VBA macros. And for that, I have here an example with a few sentences, and we're gonna just get the number in one column and the word or a keyword in another column. So that will look like this. So we've got the keyword, in this case temperature, and the number 30 degrees uh, in another column. In case there's a date, we will get that in column D. And this is somehow a simple example of data analysis using macros. So let's see how to do that from scratch. I have here the same example with the same sentences. Let's move now to the Visual Basic Editor. And first of all, we're going to loop through each row. So we will need a variable r as an integer to store the row number. And we will also need, let's call a sentence as a string, to store the value of each cell in column A. And here we start a loop for r, starting in row 2 to skip the headers, up to the last row with data in that column, which in this case is 4, but we're going to get that with in the active sheet, they used range with the special cells, last cell, and we're going to get the row. So let me make this bigger. The first thing we'll do here is to get the sentence. So the sentence is going to be the value in column A and row R. The sentence is, is this value here. And these are simple sentences, but you could have even longer sentences. And what we've seen in a previous video is how to split the text into columns. That's something you can easily do here with text to columns. But that would actually put each word or each part, and including the numbers, in a different column if the data is delimited. In this case, we could say it's delimited by a space. So that doesn't really make sense for this data, for these sentences. Okay, and that's sentence. Then we're going to split the sentence into its parts. So I'm going to call that sentence parts, and that will be using the split function, the sentence, comma, using the space as a delimiter. And now for each part in sentence parts, and note that this is going to generate an array with each word or part in the in the sentence so it could be a word it could even be a letter and it could be a number of course because we have some numbers and then we're going to loop through the array and we're going to get each part so each word number etc and for each part we're going to check if and let's start checking if it's a date so if is date part is true then we're going to have that part, or we're going to have that value added to column D in row R. So the value is going to be part. Now, else if, if it's not a date and is a number, so is numeric, part is true, then we're going to have that in column C. And else, if it's neither a date nor a number, it's going to be a word or a letter or a character. And in that case, we want to add that to column B. So the words will be in column B, the numbers in C, and the date in D. But we want to add the word based on some criteria. So for example, we could have a reference to compare to a reference keyword or a reference list of words. But what I'm going to do here is to get the longest word. I'm going to assume the longest word is the keyword in that sentence. But if you understand how this works, you can change that to whatever you want. And for that, we will say if the length of the part is greater or equal to a variable that I'm going to introduce in a moment, which is part length, then we're going to add that to column B on row R. And then we're going to say the part length equals the length 
or the length using the VVA length function of the part. So that tells us how many letters or how many characters are in that word or in that part. Okay, we end the if statement here and we end the other if statement here. But one thing we need to do is we need to initialize part length every time we loop. So up here before we start the loop, part length is going to be zero. Then we're going to check every time if it's longer. That's going to be our longest word, which is going to be added to column B. And we could also say here that's an integer, of course, the length of the word. Then down here, we're going to go to the next part. And finally, we're going to go to the next R. So we have a loop inside another loop, right? If we run the macro now, you see we've got the keyword temperature because temperature is the longest word in this sentence. So that's why we've got temperature as the keyword. And then we've got the number in that sentence. And the same for the other sentences. So here, by chance, contact is the longest word. And it makes sense that contact is associated with the telephone number. And then in this other sentence, we have exam on a particular date. And it turns out exam has actually the same number of letters than have, but it comes after. So it has been added exam, which makes sense. This, this, this is telling us exam on this particular date. So that's how we separate words and numbers in a cell in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.